Hi guys, my name is Dean Phillips and I'm a professional travel and fashion portrait photographer. And today I'll be giving you tips and advice on location scouting. As photographers living in London, we've all at times dreamed of the exotic location to shoot in, whether it be the Maldives, the Caribbean or somewhere in the Middle East. But unfortunately, we don't always have those locations at our fingertips. So what I'm going to show you today is basically about bringing that style of location to you here in London. And the weird thing about it is, it's all going to be within your urbanised environment. So without ado, welcome to my neighbourhood, the lovely Wembley. So recently I did a set of fashion nature shoots and fortunately for me I live near a huge massive country park and it's great it's ideal but walking around the neighborhood generally day to day I so happened to come across what I felt were some you know what you'd call hidden gems so in my head I thought to myself weather permitting e.g sunshine lucky on with the photography on the day e.g taking a good photograph and then a little tiny bit of creativity in the retouching room I actually thought to myself, you know what? I think I'm onto something here. So what I'm gonna show you now is what I did and the results. So let's crack to it. So this looks like an old used car garage door. Well, that's because it is an old used abandoned car garage door. But wait a minute, let me fantasize. Imagine looking at the colors and the texture an old style rustic vineyard somewhere in the south of France or Spain with a little bit of sunlight on it and a very very attractive model thank you very much Isabel Strickland I think you can get a little bit of magic from this location so without further ado voila so here it is the finished article uh, big shout out to the model uh, Izzy Strickland she was fantastic on the day so if you take a look closely We've got the sun beating down heavily on her, which is ideal. She looks glamorous. The clothing she's actually wearing complements the background. And when you look closely at the texture and colours of the wood behind her, as I said before earlier, I was going for that old style of rustic type vineyard villa um, that you find in many places in you know, France or somewhere like Spain, etc. So again, this was an actual old used car garage door put to good use. And with a bit of cropping and a little tweak here and there in retouch this is what you can do bang so how do you get a beautiful desert like feel from a council estate in london very good question well obviously one of the things it needs is creative mind which many of us have but then at the same time on this particular council or should i say in this particular council estate where did we actually shoot the shot? Well, the answer's simple. We shot it, right? Here. So, to most walking past here, it just looks like a piece of old dirt land next to a council estate. But you know, as a photographer, you've got to learn and know how to see the gems in anything, the diamonds in the rough, so to speak. In the case here, I waited for the sun to beam down, which created a nice, beautiful yellow tint. Then you had the gorgeous model, Izzy. Thank you very much again. And on top of that, I set an aperture of about five, six to about six, three, I think. So you could really get the focus and deep detail of the, the creases and crevices within the, the piece of land. And that all makes for a real desert-like feel. Well, that's how I felt. And I hope you feel the same way too. But there you have it. Council estate, piece of land, few cracks, decent aperture, Bob's your uncle. Anyone fancy shopping? As you can see, if you're in the mood for a bowl of sugar or maybe some milk, you're in the right spot. But unfortunately, I'm not in that kind of mood. What I'm in the mood for is to be somewhere tropical, somewhere like the Bahamas or maybe the beaches of Vietnam or Thailand, I don't know. Now, the question is, can we get that kind of environment from a place like this? Well, I think the answer is actually an emphatic yes. 
and I'll show you just how. Follow me. First of all, big shout out to my Taiwanese sister, Model I, who worked incredibly hard to help me produce this shot. Um, very simple, we're still at the supermarket as you can see, and it's a case of having a really hot, blistering sunny day, shining on the plant life, placing your model dead in the center, and then taking pictures of her posing. Once you're done, you bring it into retouch, and the key secret for this, remember this, listen clearly, the key secret is actually in the cropping. It's actually the secret for all the images I've been describing and talking about today. So you crop tightly to make sure that the whole image, the entire image, is engulfed fully with the plant life and your model dead center, then Bob's your uncle. You turn a boring London urbanized supermarket into somewhere tropical, like Vietnam, Thailand, or the Bahamas. Peace. So guys, in summary, I hope that I've proven today that you really can bring the mountain to Mohammed. What I want you to do now actually is when you take a walk, next time you're out there strolling with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whoever, right? I want you to really look around you. I want you to really look around and try to find what I've described today as that hidden gem. That piece of disregarded, ignored building, land site that no one would think twice about looking at and saying to yourself, guess what? Through my creativity, I can make it happen, right? So key essentials for today, remember this. When you've got your model out there doing your shoot, make sure model placement is top, top, top on target because that's gonna make your life easier when you get to doing the cropping later on in post. Remember, model placement equals an easier crop. But if I can do it, you can do it. This is London, it's a place that's full of locations, full of opportunities if you just use that creative eye and look a bit more deeper than you normally would look. So go out there today, start shooting, start posting stuff, pray to the God of weather, whoever he or she is, that they bless you with the good fortune and really nail it home. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope you found that I've somehow, you know, brought to you the Maldives, the Caribbean, India, wherever it is, straight to your doorstep, as I know you can. And I'd just like to say thanks for your time. Peace.